Welcome to Decked Out. Or the Hermitcraft server, more specifically. This is made possible by Zoomavoid, Tango, and all of the hermits on the Hermitcraft server. Thank you so much for making this available to everyone to play and make some content. You guys are all awesome. But today we are here to focus on the building in front of you, that decked out massive castle. If you haven't already, be sure to go check out Tango's video on the rules to decked out. We are going to do all the things, a tour, and maybe even go around the entire Hermitcraft server. But hello, welcome to the video. I think I'm excited. Let's take a look and uh, gander on inside. And if you guys want to go ahead and follow me, we will head on in there. Hello and welcome back guys. Welcome to the first episode of my new series. I'm going to do some decked out stuff guys. We're going to do a lot of uh, decked out runs. I think we're going to start from scratch and build from there. Definitely going to see how far we can get into the decked out uh, dungeons and so such. And over time I think we can definitely build a great deck. See uh, if we can't uh, do as good if not better than the hermits. <laughs> Definitely not better, but uh, we'll see if we can't do as good at least. And then go from there, guys. I uh, have done a little bit off screen ahead of time. Um, as you can see, I did do this right here, this nice little area, S nice little Superman symbol. As you can see, I am the super daddy. So we're going to do uh, this as our room. I took over Zed's room. Thank you, Zed. It was a uh, great aesthetic for my building area. You had already got this set up perfectly for us, uh, so thank you. And it was closest to the dungeon areas, so I figured this was a great room to take over. Yes, up here is where the actual dungeon is. As you can see, I haven't really messed with things. Couple things, disclosure-wise, I have set the day cycle today at all times um, because I don't want to have to deal with Willy or uh, mobs in the water pathfinding to me automatically. I also did go in and just make sure that everything was restocked, filled up in the dungeon, um, at least the first level. And then I have been playing ahead of time with my wife and kid because we wanted to try some decked out. We were super excited. But now that um, I'm actually making content, I won't be doing as much of that so that way I can Make sure that I am not getting extra practice when I... That would be cheating, yeah. Ooh. Um, so I have set a starter deck here for me. As you can see, this is the starter deck that he had set aside for us when you come in. I did change the color of the box because I prefer my choker boxes to be black. Uh, not like it really matters one way or the other. And then I will be using the replay mod um, for... Uh, cinematic purposes for certain death scenes or things like that. It's not going to be so that I can um, walk around the dungeon or anything or explore the dungeon or anything, sorry. I am very familiar with Decked Out. I know that one of the things that Tango's rules was was not to really go and explore the dungeon and stuff like that. We all who have been watching and keeping up with the Hermits have a pretty good understanding as to how the dungeon looks all the way down to level 4. So it's not as... Um, mysterious for some of us that have actually been keeping up on the decked out uh, runs and things of that nature. So I don't feel like I um, would be cheating to use the replay mod to help give you guys some better visual content when you guys are watching and can actually maybe see some of those deaths that uh, I may not have seen how I died or things of that nature. So that will help make sure that we are actually um, doing these things. I am also going to get a cam account on so that way we can get the map activated if you do download this uh map which i will put a download to or not a download a um a link to the hermitcraft website um on in the description so that you can download this if you're interested in yourself it is a free to play map both on bedrock and java so you can definitely utilize this map and play it just like the hermits, you will have to put in some mods. Fabric is what they use to um, actually get the server 
running all the voice and sound effects are through fabric but other than that um, if you wanted to play the game you can absolutely get it downloaded uh, yourself and play as well if you do end up playing with me along be sure to uh, let me know how you guys do along your runs and what all happens in your runs all right guys so just a couple more things before we actually get into the runs here um, I will be playing this pretty standard, pretty um, much following all the rules uh, that they had on the Hermitcraft. It is definitely a more fun experience that way, I think. For the most part, I, I'm not playing against anyone, so no, no totems or anything like that. This is just going to be a experience the dungeon type thing and then of course utilizing the uh building your card aspect of this or your deck aspect of this since it is decked out when it comes to crowns and the shop and the ethereal cards i will be as as honest with all of that as possible we're not getting any extra cards i'll try and do all of this stuff on screen so that way we know what all i am uh getting card wise i'm using these two chests here for storage um, of extra cards crowns and anything else that i end up potentially buying from this shop here to help us get through the dungeon obviously you start off with that moment of clarity i am not actually going to play that in my first run we're going to hold on to that and play that off in a later run that way um we can actually utilize that and kind of maximize the results from it our first run is going to probably be us dying. <laughs> uh, hopefully not, but it could happen. Um, so as such, I'm not, uh, I'm not exactly in a rush to uh, utilize this ethereal card as it is only a one-time use card. What this card will do is provide a whole bunch of great stats to block of clank and hazard, to treasure and to frost ember added as well. So it is a massive boost, but in that first run, you're probably going to die anyway, and that would just be wasted. So, instead of doing that, we will uh, prevent that from being the case. I am going to be running this not in waves or anything of that nature. There's no brackets. I'm not playing against anyone else, so I'm not worried about utilizing the shards. And if I need to create copies of these shards so that I can keep running the dungeon, I absolutely will. And then, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Here we go. Well, that is a uh, a very cool intro. I do love that um that door an animation. Uh, tango, every, every, tango, everything that you did here, my man. Whew. Next level, very impressive. You definitely, uh, understand redstone at a, at a level that most people couldn't begin to. Um, so I am truly impressed and truly excited to play this and make a little content. Thank you for allowing us to do that. You're awesome. All right, so first run, obviously, we're going easy. We're not going straight for the medium. That just won't uh, won't go well for us. I'm skilled, not that skilled. Okay, so this might be a little bit loud. Um, or it might not have any sound whatsoever. I have no idea. Um, I'm hoping that all of the sounds will come through on my recording. But I, uh, I honestly don't know. We're going to find out together. And this video is going to be great one way or the other. <laughs> um, I don't plan on talking throughout the entire run. But I'll definitely try and keep us entertained with my monologue as best as I can. I, uh, I'm not the best at utilizing my voice, though, sometimes. Oh, ooh, there's a Ravager right off the bat. There's our first inner counter. All right. Hey, my guy. There's a little treasure hunter for us. 
Treasure Hunter just played. I don't know if you guys heard that, so I'll just kind of announce it. Um, looks like artifact in here, maybe? Okay, not there, but it might be in that room over there. Let's go ahead and go through here and see if the artifact is... Oh, it, you would be right there, my guy. All right, all right, all right, come down. Come down. Oh, no. We're wrangling. We're wrangling. Well, this is a great start. Hopefully, I don't end up dying here. And we can get through this. All right. So, hopefully, how does this go? All right. We should be able to go up here now. I think it's up here. Is this the artifact? It is. It's right here. Oh, thank God. All right. So, can't go that way, but we can just hop down here. Let's go ahead and run through. I see there's a Ravager through there. Ooh, a little treasure. Maybe pick it up. I didn't see it drop over there. Maybe it's not over there. Maybe it uh, dropped somewhere else. Up here, maybe? I'm hearing it. I'm hearing the treasure dropping. It's somewhere. Oh man. I hope I'm not getting greedy here. I mean, I need to get four coins to even get anything really. I should probably just get out with my artifact. I would like to have a crown off of my first run, but that that's probably me just getting greedy. Yeah, that's probably just me being super greedy. I don't need to have a full crown. All right. And greed kills you in this game. We already know that. We've seen it from the hermits. Witnessed it firsthand. All right. Let's get out of here then. Oh, no. That hazard's closed. All right. Let us get out of this dungeon. And hope. Hopefully, our first run will be a success. That would be amazing. Um, if you guys can hear my keyboard tapping, I'm sorry. I'm not the best at being quiet with that. But I am pretty good at jumping and such. I say that, but I'm probably one of the worst at parkour you'll ever see in this game. All right, Stumble just played. All right, so that's three coins. If I stick around for a little bit longer, I might be able to get that last one. But, ah, eh, no. We decided we were getting through. Let's finish the run. Get one successful run under our belts, and we will call this. Heck yeah. All right. So we got uh, the multi-green waffle for eight frost embers. That is going to help us build our deck. No artifact take the path of the coward. Not for us today. Not for us. We were successful. All right. There's the sound. Wow. Hopefully you can hear all of this um, via the recording. That's, that's my hope. But uh, if not... Um, it'll still be a great video. All right, so we have the choice between a stability or a sneak. I think that starting off, I mean, obviously a bunch of all these other cards are going to play, but I think that starting off, we should probably do um, a hazard block, the stability. That will... Um, get one of those at least in our deck. I don't think we have one yet. We have a sneak and a treasure hunter already. So yeah, let's get the uh let's get the the clank block or not the clank, the hazard block going. Oh, very cool. Tango, 
I just, again, want to compliment everything that you've done in this. This has been the visual experience, not to mention the uh, the heart attacks that you get every time you see a Ravager <laughs> in the dungeon. Oh, it's amazing. I'll put these in here so that they don't go to waste. And then, let's try and get past this guy. Oh, we almost got there. Ooh, for our first run, that was pretty good. And then I didn't set my spawn. Oh. Well, first use of the pick a shame. All right, back in here. So we got our deck back. We got the multi grain waffle uh, artifact, and we have the stability. So, I think we will only get one of each of the artifacts that we end up collecting. But we were very successful today. We're going to store our deck above right there. That's where our deck is going to be. And we can add the stability into our deck now. For a treasure hunter, a sneak, and a stability. And I think we will go ahead and store the multi-grain waffle here. And that is going to be basically where we keep all of our stuff for now. Like I said, our storage is going to be in here and we'll definitely make sure that we keep up on that. Also going to have our uh, extra cards and probably crowns and things of that nature in here. But I think that, yeah, this is where we'll store all of our artifacts for now. Right under the jelly. Alrighty. So here we are back at our uh, little base area. And I think we'll probably do something similar to um, Zed and all them. We are going to keep a book of all of our victories and all of our defeats. I think that overall, as long as we are able to keep a record of our things, we can actually... Um, tell how we did how we didn't learn from our mistakes learn from everything that's happened and actually go from there so i'm, I'm kind of excited to do the same thing that the, some of the hermits have done um, and make a nice little record log of this so decked out to log of runs First run. So we're going to write, to begin with, we'll write whether we succeeded or failed. In this case, it was a success. We're going to write what artifact we got. Uh, waffle. And then if there's anything that we can remember that was significant about that run, what we did well, what we didn't do good, maybe where we left Ravagers in some cases, we'll write that in here as well. So that will give us a nice little hint for the next run, um, maybe what we need to be preparing for. Like in this case, uh, two Ravagers over by the ice caves and... TNT room. So that'll let us know, okay, for our next run, we need to kind of be looking out for those two Ravagers over by the ice cave and TNT room. Was able to avoid and get my artifact in. that cave area all right so there we go nice little area for now or nice little log for now we can keep that here and then we'll be able to read our logs and tell how we've done in our decked out logs so that'll be nice addition to our decked out um su uh, summaries and such i will do that i'll include that on each video as well um, it'll probably be a much more quick and abridged version instead of me saying it and, and all those things. I'll just type it out so you can see it on screen real quick and then we'll move on to the next run type thing. Well guys, that's going to be it for our first episode of this Decked Out series. 
I am super glad that I had a chance to do all of this with you guys and get back into the YouTubing. I know I've been gone for a while. I appreciate all of your patience with me and hopefully we can get back on a very regular schedule of posting my videos going forward and just keeping up with all the content. But as of right now, I am going to go ahead and say thank you so much for watching. Be sure that you all stay safe out there, stay healthy, and I will see you all soon, next time even. Take care, and bye. Oh, and if you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe for more content. Thank you. <laughs> bye.